Hi, this is KHI Tutorials, and um, this will be uh, the third video in my uh, tutorial on how to install uh, Counter Strike Source dedicated server on your own Windows PC or Linux uh, PC. So, um, Linux is a little bit different when uh, making this part, but I'm sure there's tutorials for that there. I will be using the Windows method. Um, as we're making the tutorial in Windows, so uh, we're gonna need a few things. Um, of course, everything we need uh, to download and uh, a written tutorial uh, for the rating for the ranking system we will be using. Uh, I will put a link in the description for of that. So um, we'll be using HL Stats uh, X Community Edition, the latest version, which is 1.6.14. Um, and to make it work, we will need to install Superlux, Active Perl, and some other um, uh, applications. And also, we will need a local web server. Um, I will be using XAMPP. You can use uh, WAMP, or you can build your um, web server from the bottom. The only requirements are you need to have Apache, PHP and uh, MySQL um, installed and completely working on your system uh, and also it's a good idea to have PHP MyAdmin to have a graphical user interface for the MySQL um, system so anyway um, let's get started um, we will need the ranking system to um, to actually make um, the people uh, on our server see how, um, how how well they place on the server. So um, you can also make this uh, ranking system available on your website where you host your where you maybe host your website for a server. So the uh, only th requirement there is your uh, server must uh, support cron jobs, uh, which is the same thing as we're going to make something alike uh, when making this tutorial so um, the first thing you're going to do is extract this uh, zip file we downloaded from uh, the HL stats uh, community edition web page so we're just going to hit right click and uh, we're going to extract it so I will be using uh, WinRAR in uh, this tutorial um, although uh, in the written guide in the forum on uh, HL stat community edition um they will be they are using 7 zip uh, the programs actually do the same but um i prefer to use winrar because that's what i'm using in daily use so no need to install all necessary applications so uh, the next thing we're going to need is this script folder and um these icons you don't have because um you might not have the applications installed so uh, next thing we're going to do is open my computer open the C drive and uh, right click and create a folder called HLXC and in that folder we're going to drag all these files and um, then we're going to open notepad just go in here and open notepad um, it's been quite a long time since I made the last tutorial, so I can actually not remember if I told you to install Notepad++, which is a little bit more advanced editor. Um, you can just I will open that in this tutorial to show you how to o make. Um, yeah, that file will come back to you later. So, how to make this uh, command file to open the stats? So, we we needing a .cmd file to do this. So. Um, And that's really simple. You just open Notepad++, and uh, in a new file, you just write Perl spacebar hlstats.pl. Then you hit File, Save As, and then you save it as hlstats underscore start. Uh, here, batch file. I recommend you set all types and then write dot cmd and hit Save. 
and uh, after you've done that this file should be here and what this file does is it's opening uh, this file here which runs the the actual stats system and um, next thing we're gonna do is um, put a little put a file into this uh, folder we have it here it's called geolightcity.dat and it's a gc, f GC file um, it's compressed on Linux I think so um, I have actually 7-zip installed but I'm not using it so um, just gonna hit right click if you have 7-zip you just click extract here and the same as you have been run so let's extract the file be aware that this file takes a lot of time to download from the server it's located on um, I have no uh, intentions on re-uploading it somewhere else uh, of course um, of uh, because someone has the right for that file and uh, I don't want to offend anybody so or s making somebody mad at me because I re-uploaded his file somewhere else. so again go into C drive HLXC folder and just create it the folder called Geolite City and in here you just push put this Geolite City file so paste it and um, now that folder is done so um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to install Active Pearl this one let's download that so let open up and uh, you just hit next all the way through installation I have already installed it so I won't install it again so and uh, when it's done installing it took, took five minutes for me to install I think we're gonna open all programs in the start menu and then we're gonna find active Perl. we're gonna open Perl package manager and um, <coughs> there are some things you need to be aware of one is it takes a little bit, little bit time to start up uh, the other thing is um, that um, your system will probably uh, only show you the package you already have installed um, so you need to um, your system when you launch the program the first time will stand here view install packages you need to click on this view all packages and then we need two plugins first one I need is dbd mysql and uh, I have already installed the plugin so this is my context menu when I right click um, when you right click it will say install dbd mysql um, and there's a later, ver later version so I will install it um, just with you so install and then this arrow turns screen, and when you hit that, it will install. So, next thing we need is uh, a file called GeoIP. So, let's search, and um, here it says reinstall. So, uh, there's no later version. But I reinstalled anyway, so it's ready for. And now we have two items ready to install, so we hit the green arrow. Ready to install two packages. Hit OK and let it install. <coughs> and uh, as soon as it's done installing, you can uh, go ahead and install XAMPP if you haven't done that already. So I have already installed the XAMPP, so I will not install that. So you can see it's almost done. Um, it just needs to generate some files uh, to make everything work as it should. So, and soon, as soon as this is uh, done installing, it will s it's done in something like now. Or yes, now it's done. Now we hit the close the Perl package manager and our scripts folder here down here. We uh, don't need that anymore, so we can just go back. And um, the next thing we're gonna s install is XAMPP. 
and um, after we installed exam we will um, go ahead and launch the exam control panel after the installer closes it will ask you if you want to start it so just start it after the installer closes I have already started it so I will just use desktop shortcut then you will have this control panel uh, tick these two uh, the SVC for Apache and for MySQL this makes them install as a service and they make it will be available on your system um, all the way if when the system is running uh, available from startup already so you don't have to launch this exam control panel every time anyway, well you just hit start and launch the Apache web server it's a little bit tricky sometimes you need to click it twice or something like that but MySQL launches every time so when these are running we hit uh, admin for uh, the Apache <coughs> well now it launches uh, Safari for my but to me but uh, I will not be using Safari for this because I have experienced uh, problems with uh, Safari and the component on my Windows XP installation which I'm using so I will not I have no intention in uninstalling it so I just gonna paste the so anyway I'm just gonna write localhost and then let it tune that the system is not so fast at all so it takes a little bit of time but um anyway uh, now we are ready to uh, get going so uh, you go ahead and click on PHP my admin and you will get this window uh, you your window may look a little bit different if you uh, have a newer version of exam I have version 174 177 which is the latest version at the moment uh, doesn't work on my uh, XP installation for some weird reason so um, next thing I'm going to do is um, import the SQL database for um, for the for our file so um, but before we're gonna uh, do anything I will be uh, you will need to create a new user so uh, you go into the privilege tab I'm sorry mine's Danish but your tab will be called privilege and then we're gonna hit create new user and uh, database for user we will select the second option create a database uh, with the same name and uh, grant all privileges and we're gonna uh, hit check all down here and uh, for the username we're gonna write hlxc and uh, our host is localhost and uh, then you're gonna select a password I will call it hlstats and uh, again or you can make a computer generated password so um, after this is done we go into databases and um, we will it has or has created a database here called hlxc it's empty so um, we're gonna hit import and uh, we're gonna hit browse and then we're gonna open the hlstats folder we just extracted go into sql and uh, find the installed SQL. May not only on install, install, but uh, anyway, uh, click confirm, and uh, it has now imported the database. You have a lot of tables down here, so um, that was it for the first part. Uh, join me in part two, where we will be setting up um, everything. So, see you in part two.